Hey everyone, it's Dylan and Charlie from the Black Forest Wood Company. This week we're going to be giving you an update on the table for Joe Manganello. Uh, you guys have been requesting it and demanding it from us, wondering what's going on with the table, so we're here to show you guys. This week we mostly worked on his base, so we, we're going to show you the actual milling of the lumber, the CNC machining, the glue up, the burning, uh, maybe a little bit of the finishing, we might not get that done this week. Uh, but we're going to show that process and then next week we're going to our friends at Jekko to film the actual spraying process. So hopefully next week you guys are going to get to see that, um, but it may be the week after. So thank you guys for tuning in and let us know what you think of this base we're about to build. So to begin this base, uh, we've got to get our material squared off so that it's ready for the CNC machine. Uh, we're using ash for this table base and we're using 12 quarter, three inch thick material so that we can yield the thickness we need. First, we use our Powermatic jointer to give us uh, two straight 90 degree corners, and then we shove it through our planer, which is not as fancy, it's a very old planer, but it works awesome. Uh, and that's just gonna take us to our rough thickness that we need for our CNC milling. Um, you, you can't put unmachined pieces on the CNC machine because then it's not going to have a good reference uh, for those origin points and the pins that it actually uses to line up. Uh, so that's, that's why John's doing this first. Then once your pieces are true and cut to size, then they can go on the CNC machine and we can run our program on it. So first we come in with the saw blade and it's actually going to cut these pieces to the exact size that we need them to be. John's just using a stick to carefully uh, catch it when it falls so that we don't get any tear out. Uh, and then this will actually come around, do the outside perimeter after the saw blade has been done because the this three-quarter compression bit will give a much cleaner edge than the saw blade. And then it's even going to come along and drill all of our dowel holes that we need for our glue up. So that's kind of the same thing that you're seeing being done here. It's hollowing out a recess uh, for our glue up for the joinery and then it's going to come back and add those three dowel holes. Once we've got those components machined, we're ready to do the glue up. Uh, and as usual, we're using our Type Bond 3 for this. Uh, it may be overkill, you could probably get away with Type Bond 2, but we just like to use Type Bond 3 for everything because we know we're never gonna have to worry about it. This next operation here on the CNC machine, we're actually cutting out the, the shorter X uh, that's going to support the width of the table. And if you notice, it cut those two little funny angled bits right off the end closest to us here. You can see it again on this piece. We're, we're actually going to utilize those off cuts when it comes to the glue up uh, because they're going to be the perfect angle we need to fit inside that X and allow us to get a clamp in there. Now John's just running some of the bevels on these pieces before we do our final glue up. 
Um, you could do it after, it's just a lot easier to handle these pieces when they're smaller. So we recommend do all your bevel work and as much of your sanding as you can before you actually put the base together. So the process is the, pretty much the same for this part of the glue up. You know, we're being very gener generous with our tight bond three, making sure we're applying it to both surfaces. Uh, and then we're also going to put it in the dowel holes and on the dowels just to make sure that we've got full coverage everywhere we can with the glue. So now that we've got the large X together, we can actually assemble the smaller X components onto it. And there's that little off cut that I was talking about. Um, we, we do save that, we do have a use for it because it's, again, it's got that perfect angle that fits in there. So once we get the two shorter X components on, we put those off cuts in and we use that as a clamping point. Also for this base, we're going to be doing Shusugi Ban. So Spencer's got the big propane torch set up here and he's just lightly kind of burning the surface uh, of the ash so that it burns away the softer areas of the wood. And then when we go to actually wire wheel this, those areas are going to come out easier than if we didn't burn it. Alternatively, um, you could just completely char this and not just do a light burn and char it until it's all solid black. The only downside that we found to that is you usually do cause some splits in the wood, uh, especially where there's glue involved. So we like to do a light char, wire brush it, and then we actually stain it black. And it, it gives nearly an identical look, but you're not compromising any of your joinery. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this week's video. Uh, it, it was cool to get to show you guys the more in-depth process of one of these X bases because this absolutely is uh, our most popular table base we do by far. Um, and we are thinking about maybe selling some of the plans. So let us know if you guys would be interested in being able to purchase the plans for this base. Um, but thank you guys again for tuning in. We're getting really close to finishing this piece for Joe. And then when we are done, we're actually going to get to go deliver this and hopefully do some filming with Joe uh, and his wife, Sophia, at their house. Uh, and Charlie, you've earned yourself a piece of pizza. <laughs>